Mobile network operators the world over will now be aware that open RAN based systems are being made available as an alternative to the traditional pre-integrated single vendor options that are tried, tested, widely deployed, but ultimately, at least for some, too constraining. But why should mobile operators abandon the radio access network systems with which they are familiar and adopt this open alternative? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Manish Singh, CTO of the telecom systems business at Dell Technologies. Manish, great to see you as ever. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Um, what benefits does Open RAN offer to service providers? Why should they transform their radio access network? Yeah, Ray, first of all, thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure to be here. Uh, look, I mean, the network transformation and the RAN transformation in particular, uh, driven by Open RAN, is built on in num uh, a number of key pillars, I would say. First and foremost, you know, diversity in supply chain, that's super important. Driving more innovation uh, on the networks, that's uh, really, really important. And, and also opening up the interfaces so that you can bring in newer players to enter into and drive, you know, better solutions onto the RAN are all opportunities that are driving the uh, the work in the uh, open RAN space. Uh, we've gone through these journeys, you know, in different parts of the network. And uh, I mean, even beyond networks in the world of computing, we have seen the power of disaggregation where you're, you're driving innovation from the silicon layers to operating systems to, to applications. And same thing we've seen in the world of, of networks, uh, more so in the with uh, NFV and SDN in the realm of core networks where you have disaggregation and that brings in the agility, the lifecycle management, uh, ability to roll out new capabilities, new features, new functions, etc. at a much, much faster pace and start that uh, uh, innovation cycle. They really start to accelerate that. The opportunity is really to bring all of that into the radio access network and that's what Open RAN really starts to enable. Uh, and then last but not the least, I would say, you know, uh, we know while RAN's going through its own transformation, there's a whole host of opportunities that are building up, uh, especially on the enterprise side with Edge. And Edge is going to become very important to really bring the capabilities that many of these enterprises and applications need uh, in terms of, you know, really analyzing and working on the data where it's getting generated, uh, creating actionable insights and actioning on those data more on the edges uh, of the networks. And this is where I think the real price starts to come in, where as we disaggregate the RAM, bring the compute capabilities onto the radio access network, it opens up the opportunity and the market for the service providers to tap in more into the edge opportunity as well. Lots of different pieces of the puzzle coming together there by the sound of it. Now, uh, Dell Technologies traditionally is a provider of IT and data networking infrastructure solutions. So what's the opportunity for Dell Technologies in the open RAN sector? Yeah, look, I mean, first and foremost, uh, you know, it's important to acknowledge that Dell has been working with service providers over the decades. I mean, we've been providing the compute infrastructure, be it in the IT, be it in the uh, core networks uh, for the service providers. Uh, clearly, with the network disaggregation, uh, be it in the core or more now in the RAN with open RAN, uh, it, it creates the opportunity for Dell to really provide those compute infrastructure, those capabilities. But more importantly, we've gone through these transformation, digital transformation journeys uh, with our customers uh, across banking, across uh, different industry verticals, and leveraging all those learnings and capabilities and bringing them to the telcos and really help them accelerate their transformation uh, while at the same time bringing uh, uh, all the compute capabilities. Uh, and a few things there worth noting, right? I mean, so uh, for us, clearly things started the compute layer, bringing the, uh, the the right kind of compute platform. But telco is a different environment, especially when we are uh, talking about RAN, uh, you're more out and about. Uh, so uh, in, in a harsher environments, uh, we need shorter depth compute, extended temperature ranges, NEPS compliance uh, uh, platforms, and more. And so we are continuing to expand uh, our product offerings on the compute side to really meet all those requirements that the uh, operators have uh, as they deploy these equipment into the 
uh, into the RAN side uh, of their network. Uh, but then also bringing in capabilities for driving more automation uh, with things like our bare metal orchestration uh, to really really enable them uh, in terms of zero touch uh, and, 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 and life cycle management in an automated way for all their infrastructure there, right? So whether it's firmware upgrades, BIOS settings, et cetera, et cetera, uh, really help them to, to build more and more automation uh, into their infrastructure, into their network. Uh, and then, you know, last but not the least, I mean, there's a lot of uh, things we can talk about in the case of Open RAN. Uh, integration uh, and interoperability is one of the big challenges. And so from Dell, we are again, uh, you know, investing in our labs and our open telecom ecosystem lab in Hotel. Think of it as the playground where we were bringing the ecosystem together and driving that integration, that interoperability that is very much required and really helping our customers, the service providers in really making it easier for them to consume this open, disaggregated, open ecosystem. So uh, those are all the things that we are we, we are uh, driving. Uh, but the end goal for us, again, is to really help the service providers in their transformation journey and accelerate those transformations. Okay, thanks, Sir Manish. Um, now, what are some of the key challenges you see in the Open RAN ecosystem, and how is Dell Technologies addressing these challenges? Yeah, the challenges are many. Uh, I mean, the, the challenges, first of all, I mean, in, in terms of as we transform, uh, in, first of all, integration uh, is uh, it has been talked a lot about, and for all the right reasons, because again, as you disaggregate. Uh, you know, we need to bring the pieces together and, 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 and deliver that as a system that the service providers can consume and deploy onto their network. So, uh, first of all, integration is a challenge. And as I said, uh, from, from Dell's perspective, uh, we're building our hotel, our open telecom ecosystem lab, very much targeted to really help service providers in all these integration, uh, work that needs to be done and not done just once. I mean, do it on a continuous basis so with all the CI, CD and the life cycle management uh, uh, of the entire RAN stack. Uh, that, that's very much uh, what we're doing. Uh, but the other thing I will say, uh, and, and, and more broader than even beyond Dell, uh, in terms of challenges is the uh, work that's getting done in ORAN Alliance. So I think it's great uh, in terms of what ORAN is doing in terms of uh, driving the uh, specifications for the open interface. That said, uh, I do think that uh, there's too much optionality that's getting introduced uh, in the specifications. And there is opportunity here for ORAN to not just document all the different options, but rather drive the industry's direction uh, and, and drive alignment to more limited set of open interfaces. And this becomes really important because if you put all those choices and every option uh, keeps getting added into the spec, then there is a cost that comes further downstream, which is more on the on the integration side, because then all that optionality makes interoperability and integration more challenging. So I think there is an opportunity here uh, on the standard size to also do more work and, 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 and gets the standards uh, sharper in terms of the interface definitions. Okay, great point there. And, and certainly I'm hearing a lot of similar things out there in the market. So there, there does seem to be a consensus there around that. Um, now, there's been a lot of interest uh, recently, uh, and for good reason, in green networks. Uh, can Open RAN make networks more energy efficient? Oh, absolutely, yes, without a doubt. Uh, look, I mean, first of all, let's start just uh, uh, with the compute layer, right? Uh, I mean, there's so much work that has been done uh, in terms of getting compute more energy efficient uh, in the data centers, driving better PUE uh, and, and more. And now with the RAN disaggregation, the opportunity that opens up is to leverage all those capabilities and all that technology and bring that into the radio and access network. And for that matter, bring it into the core and really drive energy efficiency end-to-end uh, -end, uh, into these core networks. But then there is more, right? I mean, there's more in terms of as we open and disaggregate uh, the, the, the networks, uh, opens up the opportunity to bring in newer capabilities uh, in terms of RIC and applying AI and machine learning capabilities to really look at what the network traffics are, because networks typically are dimensioned and built for peak traffic. And we know 
not you don't have peak traffic running 24 hours a day. So as traffic goes up and down, uh, can we really take advantage of reducing the number of bands, number of cells uh, that are uh, you know continuously getting fired up uh, to really match the need of traffic and users uh, uh, th that are out there, and do so in a way without degrading any KPI. Uh, that's the key. And I think this is where Open Run again opens up the whole new set of opportunities to drive more innovation, leverage what's happening in the world of compute in the data centers, and bring those capabilities together to really uh, drive better energy efficiency outcomes uh, onto the networks. Okay, well, that sounds like a, a great uh, opportunity and advantage there for the sector to make networks more energy efficient. So uh, Manish, thanks very much for sharing your insights today. Uh, great to talk to you as ever and look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks very much. Thank you, Ray. Thanks for having me.